Hello, I'm the Media Wiz, because one art form wasn't enough. And I'm the Pony Fanboy. I fanboy over ponies, and you just listen. Today we're going to be doing a crossover review of a fanfiction series called Pinky Pie Pants. Created by the same author behind Faith and Loyalty, a crossover MLP Sonic the Hedgehog fanfic, which, while we're not huge Sonic fans, it's actually a pretty decent story, Pinkie Pie Pants serves as parodies of episodes of SpongeBob SquarePants, but with the characters replaced with characters from My Little Pony and Equestria Girls continuity. Obviously, Pinkie takes the SpongeBob role. Funny, because most people draw her as Patrick and Fluttershy as SpongeBob. So how good is the series? Well, let's take a look and find out. This fic is a parody of the episode Pizza Delivery. It begins by telling us that Rarity is now working a second job at Sugar Cube Corner for extra money. Well, this fanfic was written in 2014, so this must have been before she opened up the boutiques in Canterlot in Manhattan. I guess she'd figured that this would be a good way to get some extra coin. As the bakery is being shut down for the night, a customer calls in ordering a pizza. Rarity tries to tell them that they're closing, but Mrs. Cake says they're sending their delivery unicorn right over. In that instant, Mrs. Cake then creates a pizza out of cake. That sounds like a birthday cake for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But we don't deliver. We don't deliver, but you do. Can't you just get Pinky to do it? Oh, what a marvelous idea, Rarity. Why don't you take her with you? Pinky, squeeing with delight, slid over to the already aggravated Rarity. That is not what I had in mind. So the two decide to take Pinky's custom-made car, because she has that, it's Pinkie Pie, don't question it. After inspection, it seems the car is perfectly ready, but Pinky doesn't know how to drive. In that short moment, Pinky managed to shift into reverse, slamming her hoof onto the gas pedal, albeit causing the vehicle to speed down the road with flames igniting from the trail of the wheels, even skidding down a bumpy trail of rocks. Ah! Give me the wheel! Panic Rarity. Give me the wheel, Pinky! Give me the wheel! Backing up! Backing up! Backing up! They eventually run out of gas and are now stuck in the middle of the desert. Jimmy Cherry? Cherry Chunga! Backing up, backing up, backing up. Well, you backed up. And you know what? I think we're out of gas. And you know what else? We're in the middle of nowhere! And you know what else else? I think the pizza's getting cold. And the pizza's cold, retorted Rarity sarcastically. Oh no, not the pizza. Oh, how could it get any worse? The enraged Rarity had bucked the car so hard that it somehow managed to start up again and drive itself all the way back to Sugar Cube Corner. Rarity was flabbergasted, her jaw hanging open, and it seemed that all hope was lost. Since they have no other options, the two continue on hoof, and then we get some of Pinky's wonderful singing. And it's just as good as Pinky's songs back in Season 1. Oh, come on, man! What about Giggle at the Ghost Thief? Yeah, but then you got you gotta share, you gotta care. But, but that was a good song, too! How about we just agree to disagree? Using methods created by the pioneers, Pinky spots a horse-drawn carriage. She begins to do the dance of her people, which results in the lead stallion proclaiming, Crash and frash and break dancers! And they blow full steam ahead. Rarity pushes Pinky out of the way, even if it means they have to continue walking. Such a good friend. And to rub salt in the wound, the two now have to trudge through a sandstorm. <laughs> Will you let go of that stupid pizza already? scolded Rarity. I can't! It's for the customer! Who cares about the customer? I do! Well, I don't! And in that exact moment Rarity made that comment, it's as if the wind just came to a complete stop and fell dead silent. As for the same with Pinky, who then later expressed disgust towards our friend's statement. <gasps> Rarity! Maybe it's just me, but am I the only one that sees Rainbow Dash as Squidward? I mean, Rarity has shown signs of annoyance towards Pinky, but has never yelled or gotten severely angry with her. In this scenario, if it were Dash, it would feel more appropriate, because throughout the series, she has shown major signs of anger towards Pinky, in the same way that Squidward would show anger towards Spongebob. We're trying to eavesdrop. That means they don't hear us. Uh, Pinkie Pie, not again. Rainbow Dash! Not now, Pinkie Pie. She always ends up ahead of us in line, and then they always run out of cider! One more smidge meter to the Pinkie Pie! What do you think you're doing? You gotta get out of here! I do? You're gonna blow my cover! Do you even know what the word spy means? It means being sneaky! It means not being seen! It's so cute! Why don't you go do it? Somewhere far away from here! That's not what I meant, you phony old head! And as we see later, Dash and Squidward have the tendency to do very petty things in desperate situations. Whether it be eating the remains of a Krabby Patty that's been stomped into sand, or eating dirt because cider went into it. Then again, Rarity works because Squidward's a very artsy type, and that really goes well with Rarity's fashionista drama queen tendencies. Uh, yeah, and because she's best pony. 
<laughs> After the two have a minor spat, they get sucked into a tornado. Once they're flung from said tornado, the two land back on the ground, and Rarity begins to panic because of the lack of road. Hey, where's the road? Where's the road? Oh no, we're doomed! How are we gonna get home? Which way do we go? What do we do now? There's no road here! Hmm, contemplated Pinky as she noticed a nearby rock with moss growing on it. I think town's this way. Oh no, don't tell me, Jethro, the pioneers. Yeah, that's right. Moss always points to civilization. That way, that way there. Mm-hmm. So let me get this straight, Pinkie Pie. You think that we should go that way? Yes, indeedy. Well, I'm going this way. Well, huh? But wait, no, Rarity, wait. I don't think the pizza is... Trust me, Pinky. I know what I'm doing. However, Pinkie Pie was right for once, as the city has been clearly standing right behind them. Nevertheless, they both continued on. After walking for a little bit, as well as some more Pinky thinging, the two eventually pass out from a lack of sustenance. So is this the part where Pinky bites into a cactus and starts hallucinating an awesome Rob Zombie music video? Nope! Okay then. After Rarity almost eat tree branches, it happens, she yells at Pinky to give her some pizza. Give me that pizza! Wait, I remember now, it was tree branches! Pinky, give it to me! No! We promised it's for the customer! Using Pinky's defensiveness to her advantage, Rarity then began to speak in a soft, almost seducing like voice in order to obtain the pizza. Ooh, I really like where this is going. Bad touch! Bad touch! Stranger danger! Thankfully, it's not what we both thought. Aw, shucks. And she tries to coax Pinky into giving her some of the pizza by making it sound delicious. She must have learned that trick from Pinky from Mystery of Friendship Express. The two chase each other around for a little bit until Rarity corners Pinky. As she prepared to face defeat, Pinky soon spotted what could have saved their lives and ultimately delivered the customer their pizza. Look, Rarity! We're saved! Yes, sure, we're saved. Now give me some pizza! No, look, Rare! We're saved! Applauded Pinky as she jumped and danced around. We're saved! We're saved! Will you cut that out? Save, 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 save! We are saved! That's just a stupid boulder! It's not just a boulder! <laughs> it's a rock! A rock! A big, beautiful, old rock! Ah, uh, the Pioneers used to ride these babies for miles, and it's in great shape! Hear me out! What if the Pioneers that Pinky's talking about are actually her ancestors? I mean, supposedly her family's older than Equestria. And that's how Equestria was made! Her family knows a lot about rocks, so for all we know, these Pioneers are actually relatives of Pinky. That's... actually not a horrible theory. In other news, it's great to see that Tom and Rarity are reunited. They were such a cute OTP. At first, Rarity thinks Pinky's being delusional, but the joke's on her because the rock actually drives like a real car. Seems like Mod's kind of vehicle. They finally get to the customer's place, and it turns out it's a griffin. And keep in mind, this was written in 2014, so this was before they could show any actual redemption for the griffin, so obviously she's going to be an asshole. Assuming that you haven't seen the original Spongebob episode and you know how this plays out. She chastises Pinky for not delivering a drink as well, which leaves Pinky to bawl her eyes out. Customer's always an asshole! And Rarity sticks it to her by shoving a pizza in her face. Again, she's such a good friend. And the fanfic ends with one more gag. Nah. Now, take me home. Are you kidding? We have enough time to make it back to work! Much to Rarity's surprise and dismay, they only managed to drive back in a few inches to park right in front of the entrance of Sugar Cube Corner. Work. Yes, indeedy! Oh, my aching horseshoes. That was Pinkie Pie Pants, pizza delivery. Say that three times fast. And it was actually pretty good. These kind of projects are very difficult to get right. Just like a lot of live-action recreations of SpongeBob episodes, it takes a lot to make them entertaining. Thankfully, the author does a good job of recreating the original story, all the while keeping it funny with the different pony characters in the spotlight. With a lot of the newer fanfics in this series, the author actually adds new dialogue, which helps keep them from being generic and lazy and keeps them fresh and new. If you ask me, I find these stories as entertaining as Shafrilla's and Hollow Hill's live-action SpongeBob videos. Yeah, sure, they're not for everybody, but I like them and I thought they were funny. Supersonic, keep up the great work, man. We're really proud of you. So, Wiv, you want to review another fanfic? I got a great audiobook of Rarity's generosity plan. Kid, no, no, I'm gonna pass on that. Unless I really want to talk about it, I'm really trying to wean off the My Little Pony reviews. So, I'm the Media Wiz, because one art form wasn't enough.